Hey guys. We're here with Professor Monty. Hi, Professor Monty. Hey guys. We're in um, Toronto, right next to the Lake Ontario. Yeah. Lake yeah. Ontario, and in the back we have the CN Tower. The beautiful CN Tower, which is the trademark. Of, of Toronto's uh, landscape, right? Pretty much, I guess. <laughs> so we're here with Professor Monty today because he's leaving actually in a, a few days yeah. to bike across the country. And we're gonna has, ask him a few questions about his trip. I'm ready. And, and his preparation to see um, how prepared he is, <laughs> why he decided to do this bike ride, and maybe uh, to ask other questions to spark your curiosity. Are you ready? I'll, I'll do my best. I know you're tough with the questions. So, so Professor Monty, <laughs> just uh, to warn you, I would like you to answer with one or two sentences, very short answers to this uh, okay. small Okay, I'll, I'll, be, uh, I'll be fast. Let's go. Perfect. Fire me up. Here we go. Okay, so first questions. First question for me. Why did you decide to do this bike ride across Canada? Well, okay. Uh, first thing, I just wanted to travel this country. Uh, beautiful country. I was born here and I've never really traveled it and that's the first reason why uh, I wanted to do this bike ride. Okay, and when was when did you decide to do this bike ride? When did the, the this idea of touring the country on your bike a spark? I think it was a few years ago I thought of it and I, I wanted to do that um, you know um, I've never First it was Toronto, Montreal, and I wanted to do that with a buddy of mine, but I said, you know what, may as well go all in. I've never done a bike tour like this, but yeah, uh, exactly. two years ago. Well, that's great. Thank, <laughs> thank you for answering. Remember to, to answer with a few words and a few sentences. All right, all right. Monty. Sorry. <laughs> so, um, another question. So why did you decide to um, bike across the country and not um, using like a, a van or a car or a train or um, flying to one part to the other to, of the country? I wanted, I wanted it to be a challenge. I wanted it to be, um, you know, I've, I'm an athletic guy, but I've, I've never done a bike tour like this. I've, you know, I've played soccer at university, stuff like that, but I've never done something, a challenge like this. So I've, and I think on a bike you can see the, the country a little better. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, so you got to be faster here with so your tell, questions too. Exactly. Well, let me think. There's so many <laughs> questions to ask. So uh, maybe let's talk about your your um, your trip. Okay. So where are you gonna go first, and where are you heading to? So I'm heading to uh, good old Vancouver, British Columbia. From no. where? From where? Where are you start? Where? From Toronto. Where does everything start? Everything starts in uh, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So where we are right now. Where we are right now, you know, where I'm from. So um, going out, going out west. I've never been out west, so I'm looking forward to it. I know it's beautiful, and uh, I can't wait to see some old friends there that I, you know, I made in university, and I'm. I'm really looking forward to it and seeing the Rockies and stuff like that. So uh, going out to Vancouver, over to Halifax. Excellent. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so it's the, you said it's the first time you're, you're traveling the country coast to coast. Yes. And the, maybe there are provinces that you haven't seen, you haven't been to. Mm -hmm. uh, which province um, or which part of the country are you um, most looking forward to? Uh, I think I'm... I mean... How can you not be looking forward to BC and the Rockies and all that? I mean, you see that everyone in the world, you know, has seen the Rockies and they're so majestic and beautiful. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to BC, but I'm, I'm looking forward to the whole country. I mean, Banff and Alberta uh, and even the prairies. I want to see what they're like. And, you know, we just, if you're from Toronto or Montreal or something, we don't really understand the life out there in the prairies and, and I want to interview people, get to know them and I know they're great people out there so I want to I wanna get to know them out there and I know it's, you know it's nice flat land so it would be cool to bike on that as well. Looking forward to that. You don't think it's... Oh and the Maritimes as well. I love the Maritimes already but that's, yeah. Have you been to the Maritimes? Yes, but I'm also looking forward to Cape Breton um, and doing the 
Giovanni Caboto, John Cabot Trail. And uh, going around there, uh, it's gonna be beautiful there. And really looking forward to that, that part. And especially the part from Montreal onward, I'm gonna have a buddy with me, so. And then uh, hopefully my girlfriend will come with me uh, for the last little stretch. So I hope, I hope uh, the first stretch by myself is okay. And that <laughs> the, uh, I'm sure the second half will be fun and having someone with me. But the first half, we'll see how it goes solo. Uh, you know. I don't know what to expect, and uh, I'm an adventurous person, so I think I think it'll be okay. But I'm a little nervous as well. Uh, yeah. Are you? You're nervous. You said you're nervous, Professor Monty. Are you scared? I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I know God's on my side. I know my family and friends are all supporting me, praying for me, and uh, they're watching out for me. So. Uh, I've done the preparation, you know, an athlete says you put in the work and then you can just go play the game. So I've trained, I've done my research, I've got all the, the equipment. We didn't talk about sleeping bags and stuff. We'll talk maybe, about that in a different video. But. Well, maybe or you can say, well, maybe I asked if you were scared because you would be, you will be sleeping outside. Is that it in a tent? So. Yeah, Would we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But like I said, I think in my head, I, I'm sure I'll be f a bit scared the first few nights, especially. Um, but I'm not, I'm not petrified. I, I, I know God's on my side, and I know I've prepared, and I've done everything I, you know, anyone could possibly uh, could possibly do, and I've got all the spray and items and materials, and so. Also, the mindset you need to have. The you mindset. Have, you have the mindset, I think. I, I'm stubborn, as you say. So. Well, that's great, Professor Monty. Maybe yeah. um, a last question, okay. and then we can wrap it up. All right. Um, so, tell us more uh, about your. Uh, so you're riding uh, your bike for a cause. Yes. So maybe you can remind your uh, followers uh, what the cause is, why you yeah. decided uh, to choose this cause. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, La Société de Saint Vincent uh, de Paul. Uh, it's it's uh, a charity. Uh, you can go in the link and uh, donate if you like. It's it's a really great charity. They help um, you know less fortunate individuals in our society, the needy people who really are vul vulnerable. And and you know after this pandemic, we need to help. We need to help our fellow uh, uh, sisters and brothers and, and uh, neighbors and people we don't know, right? So people in need. So if you want to help people in need, I think this, the Society of St. Vincent, Vincent de Paul, that's, that's a great, great way to do so. And it's a society that's a charity that's been around for so long. It's very reputable and it's in hundreds of countries worldwide. So you could get involved with that too in your country, but if you'd like to donate, uh, you hear there the traffic. We're right beside Lakeshore. So, uh, yeah, if you'd like to donate, uh, I'd really appreciate it. And it's a great cause. And they help a lot of people. 